salutation. If we have learned anything in the post 9-11 political culture of the United States, it's that the gap between the common people and the political class has grown to almost epic proportions. What our politicians and leaders are allowed to get away with in the name of politics, national security, and bureaucracy is, in a word, criminal. Take this week, for example, where not only did we see a group of Republican congressmen blatantly break their own rules of national security when they chose to storm the House Intelligence Committee's closed impeachment depositions, something that would have landed you or I in jail if we did it, uh, but we also saw the president's lawyer actually argue in a New York court that the president could murder someone in cold blood and be immune from prosecution. I am not making this up, my friends. Set against the backdrop of the legal battle over the subpoena of President Trump's tax returns by the New York District Attorney's Office in order to investigate claims that Trump illegally paid to silence anyone with damaging information to his 2016 campaign, appeals court judge Denny Chin brought up Trump's campaign trail declaration that he could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and not lose any voters. Brought that. Alright, I balance the apostles and others of great millstone rule well. Peace and salutation to Yaki around the world that push this truth. You know, to the four corners of youth. I said I do this touch on this video, I entitled it. Um Esau's laws is not for him, it's for you. Because really and truly, originally, when Israel was given laws, all of Israel had to follow those laws. The kings as well as the servants. You understand, nobody was above the law. But in this system, they don't make laws for them to follow. They just only make laws for you to follow. Which is why you'll see um, that article that came out recently that showed that like high rich people in society, they don't pay taxes. You understand? And it even has certain crimes that they just commit, that they just get away with, that if you committed it, you would go, you would go to jail, just like the guy just said. All right? And that's how you'd be able to see the characteristics of unrighteous kingdom or unrighteous system. Say so Deuteronomy 1, I'll start from Deuteronomy 1, I'll start from 16 and say, and I charge your judges, all right? At that time saying hear the cause between between your brethren and judge righteously between every man and his brother and the stranger that is with that is with him right and now this refer to everybody same way the beggar on the streets without the fall of the law is the same way the king saying the only throne without the fall of the law the same way it's not like, it's not like um like how in this in this society, like how, how it had a certain politician in the past, he was accused of a rape charge. And as soon as he was made prime minister, the, the charges dropped. You understand? But if it was a, a normal common man, he would have been put in jail. Verse 17, it says, You shall not respect persons in judgment, but you shall hear the small as well as the great. It says, You shall not be, af be afraid of the face of man, for the judgment is your house and the cause that is too hard for you bring it unto me and I will hear it and that way you see when people actually love this system you know that's something wrong with them because this system is not a just system all of this all of this actually encourage is to teach you to do wicked things but things are according to the law things are according to fairness real fairness according to the scriptures this system doesn't promote it. Up to William Consovoy, Trump's attorney, when he was arguing that presidential immunity protects the Donald's tax returns from subpoena. Uh, but that is actually a true thing. I believe uh, this is called a diplomatic immunity. Like say if a politician or somebody of a particular stature who have diplomatic immunity, once they're, out, once they're outside of their jurisdiction, they could commit a crime and the people in that place can't charge them or can't do them anything. Insider reports that when Chin pressed Consovoy with, uh, about the limits of presidential immunity and referenced the Fifth Avenue example, 
Consovoy argued that local law enforcement authorities could not investigate Trump, even if he did indeed shoot someone on Fifth Avenue. At least not while he's president. These two stories are the result of years and years of unaccountability running rampant in our congressional and executive branches from George W. Bush's WMDs to President Obama's drone assassination program. Well, my friends, I think it's time for some accountability. I think it's time to start watching the Hawks. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't play all the whole video, but I'll put a link in the description. Yeah, so I'll go to another example. I believe it's First Kings 21, verse 1, right? First Kings 21 verse 1 um, It say And it came to pass after these things That Naboth The Jezreelite Right Had a vineyard it Had a vineyard Which was in Jezreel It say had by the It say had by the palace Of Ahab King of Samaria Right, and we know Ahab was was known to be a wicked king, right? But had a man who had a vineyard that was close to his to his palace. It say and, and Ahab, right, or Ahab as they say, spake unto Naboth, saying, "Give me thy vineyard, that I may have it for a garden of herbs, because it is near unto my house, and I will give thee for it a better vineyard." Than it, or if it seem good to thee, I will give thee the worth of it in money, right? So you offer him to buy it because the convenience of how close it was and so forth, right? See, and, and Naboth said unto Ahab, The Lord forbid it me that I should give the inheritance of my fathers unto thee, which is something you wasn't supposed to do. When, I, when I'm, it, um, it had different things called tribe, tribal inheritances. So if your tribe didn't inherit this particular land, you weren't supposed to give that up to another tribe. It's supposed to stay with. It's supposed to stay within your tribe. You're supposed to just give up your inheritance, like how people out here just sell sell the land that they inherited because they're, they're only studying money. But originally, you know, when we was in Israel, the inheritance was for that particular tribe. And that's why even if it had a woman of that tribe who did own the land because she, she didn't have a husband or whatever and she had to go and marry a man from another tribe, she had to leave the land behind because the land did belong to a particular tribe. And that was to make sure that one tribe didn't have too much of the other tribe's belongings. You understand? It was to keep a balance. Right, verse 4, it say, And Ahab came unto his house heavy and displeased because of the word which Naboth the Jezreelites had spoken to him for he had said I will not give thee the inheritance of my fathers and he laid him down upon, upon his bed and turned away his face and would eat no bread and really and truly by doing that he transgressed why because he was coveting after something that belonged to his neighbor now, if you desire the man vineyard, and he tell you, well, all right, I'll sell it here, then okay. But if he tell you, no, you're not supposed to go home and mope <laughs> and mourn for something that don't belong to you. That is when you actually, you actually sin. But mm -hmm. well, this showing you that the king, like in this system, whenever they want your land, they could just look for a good excuse and come and take it from you. Like you see how a situation where there was building a flyover. And they, they relocated the people from their land and gave them somewhere else to live. And that was against, against their will. You understand? But in Israel, they couldn't do that. The king couldn't just want your stuff and come and take it from you. Even the king had to follow the same, the same laws that even the lower people had to follow. But in this society, when they make laws, they don't make laws for themselves to follow. They make laws just for you to follow. You is the one who had to pay taxes. They don't have to pay taxes. You understand? When they want to jail you, <laughs> when they want to jail you for, for, um, for, having, a, for having a wife um, seven, 17 and 16 years old, they're raping little boys and nothing don't happen to them. 
Why? Because their laws are not for them. It's for you. You understand? Let us show you how unrighteous this place is. Anyway, and with that, I say shalom.